remains of the old Nabesna gold mine are at a very remote place north of the Wrangell Mountains in Alaska. While we are driving, I'll tell you some facts about the mine. As soon as we approach the area of the mine, I'll stop talking. So you can immerse and see and form your own view on things. Take heed where you ramble Or too soon you will go Way up on the hillside Where the new flowers grow Before the Nabesna mine was built, there was no road out there. But the Nabesna valley was not deserted. Native people were living in this area for a very long time. Rumors say they knew about the gold. There was an Alaskan native called Nabesna John who found gold on White Mountain where the later Nabesna mine should be. Nabesna John was allegedly mining there for years. 1925, the prospector Carl F. Witham came to the area and discovered the so-called Bear Vein at White Mountain. Some people say it was Nabesna John who helped him find the vein. Anyway, Carl Witham built the Nabesna gold mine which produced 2.3 tons of gold and many tons of silver, copper and lead. A side product of the mine was the Nabesna Road, a gravel road through one of the most beautiful areas of Alaska. During World War II, the mine was closed. In the, sun the mine was not just a mine. It was in fact a little town with cabins, a building complex around the big ore mill, and cable cars up to the veins on White Mountain. What we're gonna look for are the remains of the old mill building and cabins at the foot of White Mountain. The area below the mill is full of old tailings. The tailings are contaminated with arsenic and other mining related contaminants. So this is a dangerous place. And so we don't touch anything, we just watch. Not only because it's dangerous, but also out of respect for the historic site which is in fact private property. After a long drive, we spent the night at a beautiful creek and catch some arctic trailing for dinner. I truly love it to be in Alaska. If the heart is a hunter, always knows of its prey. And her father's old pistol, hanging loose by her side. And then the adventure begins. We drive to the very end of the drivable part of Nabesna Road and continue by foot. Hey bear. It's quite a bit of hiking through the Alaskan wilderness to really get to the Nabesna mine. We are in bear country. Hey bear! Hey up! Hello. Hi! After a few miles of hiking and looking around, we found an old cabin. I don't know if this cabin was really from the Nebesna mine era or more recent, but was definitely a lost place.
Finding the old ore mill building complex afterwards was no problem. We just had to follow the contaminated tailings, which had almost no vegetation. And now, see for yourself. Well, seeing this place was fascinating and sad at the same time. It made me as well think about my own responsibility. Everything begins with small steps. 
We have to leave now to arrive in Chicken in time for gold prospecting. But next time we are here in the Besna, we will search the Bear Vein and mine tunnels. At the end of this video, you will find links to other fascinating lost mine videos. It would be a huge pleasure for me if you watch them and feel the same excitement like we did. Thanks for watching and take care. Mm -hmm.